Hi, in this video, we will learn about the concept of least count of an instrument. Now, first of all, what is an instrument? An instrument is a device which is used to measure something. For example, I've got a thermometer in my hand. This is an instrument because this can be used to measure the temperature of a substance or the amount of heat energy present in a substance. Another example of an instrument is this ruler uh, or a scale which is used to measure the length. Now you can measure the length of an object in centimeters using this scale. So what is the meaning of the word least count of an instrument? Now least count means what is the smallest value that an instrument can measure. For example, if we look at this scale a little closely and I'm going to zoom in and let's zoom in and find out about this scale a little. Uh, let me just bring this in the middle of the frame. Now, if we look at this particular scale, you can see that this scale is divided into uh, has many graduations and the high and this scale basically measures the length in centimeters. You can see the unit here. And what is the total length it can measure? It can measure a maximum of 15 centimeters. But what is the smallest value it can measure? So is it one centimeter? Can it measure the, the smallest unit that it can measure? Is it one centimeter or can it measure even less than one centimeter? If you look closely and you know, let me zoom in more and bring this to the center of the frame. If you see here carefully, then this particular scale can actually measure even less than one centimeter. So you see one centimeter is here, but this scale can measure less than that. And if you have a look and this gets a little blurry, uh, but if you see that one centimeter is divided into 10 parts, let's see. So this is one centimeter and this is divided into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 parts. So one centimeter is divided into 10 parts. This means if one centimeter is divided into 10 parts, this means that the distance between each graduation. So let us say this was one centimeter. Let's say this is zero. This is one. And let's say this is one, two, three, four, and five, and six, seven, eight, nine. And this is the tenth division. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten divisions. So what is the measure of each of this graduation? What is the distance between each graduation? What does this measure? So if this is one centimeter, and if one centimeter is divided into 10 equal parts, then each part is one tenth of a centimeter, which can also be written as 0 0.1 centimeter or one millimeter. See, one tenth of a centimeter is called 0 0.1 centimeter uh, or it is also known as one millimeter. So basically what we are trying to say is that 10 millimeters make up one centimeter. This means that each of this division is one millimeter or 0 0.1 centimeter. So what is the least count of this scale? What is the smallest value that this scale can measure? And the smallest value that this scale can measure is the distance between the two graduations. So the smallest value it can measure is from here to here, here to here, okay, between the first graduation and the second or from here to here. So the distance between two graduations is one millimeter or 0 0.1 centimeter and this is called the least count the smallest value that uh, that an instrument can measure is known as its least count now let us come to the thermometer in which we are really interested in because we are doing this chapter on heat and what is the let us find the least count of this thermometer so first of all let us find the range of this thermometer and it's written at the back and the range is minus 10 degrees to 110 degrees but what is the smallest value it can measure so let us have uh, let us let's put it down and see that from minus 10 so this is minus 10 and this is 0 so from minus 10 and 0 how many divisions are there so let's count let's magnify let's zoom in a bit more and let's observe closely so let's say this is minus 10 and this is 0 or, or let's start from 0 because that becomes more convenient for you so 0 degrees to 10 degrees how many divisions are there so this is the first division the second third fourth fifth six seven eight nine and ten so from zero to ten zero to ten degrees let's use a red marker to basically do the next part of the calculation for the thermometer ten degrees zero degree celsius to ten degree celsius has been divided into ten parts so if 
10 degree Celsius is divided into 10 parts, what is the value of each graduation? What is the distance between each graduation? So let's draw it like here. So this is zero and this is 10. And here this is five. This was not printed anyways. So let's say we got one, two, three, four and five and six, seven, eight, nine and 10. So these are 10 divisions. So what is the value here? What is the what is the what does this distance tell us? What is the temperature from the first graduation to the second graduation? That is the least count of this thermometer. This means from zero to 10, this is 10 degrees. And if 10 degrees is divided into 10 parts, then each part is 10 by 10 is one degree Celsius. This means that each, the distance from here to here is one degree Celsius. And the distance from here to here is again one degree Celsius. And let us just see now whether this is true. So this is zero degree Celsius. From here to here is one degree Celsius. So let's write one degree Celsius here. And from here to here is one degree Celsius. So this becomes two degrees, three degrees, four degrees. This is five. And then this is six degrees, seven, eight, nine, and 10 degrees Celsius. So what does this tell us? So this tells us that this the least count of this particular thermometer, this one here, is uh, one degree Celsius. The smallest temperature that this thermometer can measure is one degree Celsius. So the difference distance between each graduation, the distance from this part, this graduation to the next graduation is one degree even at any point of time, at any place, sorry, on the thermometer. So from here, here to here again is one degree Celsius. So this is known as the least count of the thermometer. I hope you've understood what is meant by the least count of, a, of an instrument. Every instrument has a least count. This scale had a least count of 0 0.1 centimeter. And this thermometer has a least count of one degree Celsius. Remember that scale measure measures the length whereas the thermometer measures the temperature. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.